jump right into the questions because well they're random this week and well I have no idea what they are no one would let me read them because that's how things work my girlfriend farted while we were kissing should I break up with her James M Ontario Canada <laughs> Wow dude no I mean everybody farts man I mean, you've read the book, everybody poops, so it's fair, everyone farts as well. I mean, you, I'm sure you're going to want to fart in her, in, fr in her, wow, I'm sorry, fart in front of her, eventually. So, I mean, it's fair is fair, I mean, did it, if it smelled, I mean, I apologize, but can't blame her, man, can't blame her. Next question, I'm super hungry, where's the nearest Applebee's? Starved Bro, Chicago, Illinois. I don't know, man. I have no idea. I'd, I'd Google Maps it for you, but I'm on a show right now, and that would be unprofessional. Next question. I took my five-pound dog outside before daylight, and a large owl flew right in front of my face. Will it eat my dog? Linda K. Santa Claus, Indiana. Probably. You should be very careful with that. Owls are some serious problems in these parts. I would know. Next question. At a movie theater, which armrest is yours? Ray T. Frankfurt, Kentucky. <clears throat> We're going to demonstrate on this chair. The armrest over here. Assume you have someone occupying the adjacent chair. You are entitled to half of that armrest. If you don't know said person, I'd advise talking to them before the movie and making up some sort of peace treaty about the armrest. Same with the other adjacent side. You get half of it. If there's no one there, you just... This is mine. All this. If there's no one there, but if, if you have to share, man, we were taught that in kindergarten. Be polite to your fellow humans. Ah, darn. I can't cuss on the show. I apologize. Okay, why are there no B batteries? John F. Denver, Colorado. You just blew my mind. Oh, man. Why are there no B batteries? I'll be completely honest, I don't have an answer for that. I, the world I grew up in is now gone to me. I have no idea. I mean, it only makes sense, but if I think about it any longer, my head would explode. Next question. How can you tell if a relationship is over? Jamie J. Indianapolis, Indiana. Assuming Jamie is a girl, but we're gonna do both sides of this puzzle. If she stops, uh, if she stops shaving her legs and or any like parts she normally shaves, and it's not winter, or yeah, pretty much that, or if she avoids your calls for a week, that's a pretty big sign too. I mean, even if it is only a month in the relationship. Now. How you know with guys? If they avoid you, like you have the uh, bubonic plague, that's, that's, yeah, that's one of the signs right there. I mean, if they avoid you, like your skin is falling off and you just have everything going on, 
just no. You probably should break up with them first. I mean, get your phone out right now and call them. Because, yeah. I mean, there are exceptions to these rules. I mean, if there's a death in the family and they don't want you around, that's, that's that happens. But, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If girls don't shave and if guys avoid you, that's pretty much it. This has been an episode of Ask Chris. I'd like to thank all the people who wrote in, and see you next time.